So that looks like the ideal uh, athlete. I, uh, ideal athlete, yes, exactly. So you define yourself like the ideal athlete? Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> during the winter, it's like 150 people, but during the summer, it's around 100 uh, people. So what, what happened to people's motivation in summer? <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're at the beach. <laughs> You think there are more people that get used to you than Tina and Lana? Ah, uh, yes, because I was, <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I, was I work uh, more, uh, okay. like I work three, four hours, they work... Uh, Don't more. be shy about your performance, <laughs> you can't tell them. Yeah. <laughs> you can't tell them. <laughs> but, I will not show this to yeah. Tina and Lana. <laughs> so, speaking of discipline and consistency, like, are you, are you allowed to party as a CrossFit coach? Uh, I don't party that much uh, right now because I have a small child. Uh, I will not show this to your wife, you can talk. <laughs> Please. Tina, is, Tina is not here, she doesn't listen to us, you can talk. Hello friends and welcome to my YouTube channel. Since the Covid hit the world in 2020, I sold everything and went traveling the world. Along the way, I discovered new places, taught my passion for the electric propulsion systems used for marine vessels, both civil and military, and more importantly, I made new friends and memories that I will cherish forever. Join me in my travel and teach journey. If you haven't done it yet, please subscribe, like and comment my videos. It helps me to continue doing what I love most. Let's learn and travel together. Let's have fun. Hi Mirko. Hi, hello. How are you? Good, you? I'm good, thanks. Okay. Thank you for, uh, for having me here. And, of course, uh, you're welcome. For accepting the interview. Yeah. So, uh, it's a sunny day today. Yes. Like, like always, it's split. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. What a chance you have here in Croatia. So you look sweaty. What happened? Uh, I did Murph uh, half an hour ago. So <laughs> is this like a badass workout? Uh, yes, for me because I hate running, so <laughs> it's not very good All for right. me. <laughs> so I guess I will skip the next yeah. class. <laughs> I'll go. <laughs> you can go on a roll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when did you start CrossFit as a sport? Uh, I uh, start here at uh, 2012. I joined uh, CrossFit Split, and uh, now I'm a manager. So. So you have never done CrossFit before 2012? Uh, never in a regular gym, but I train uh, gymnast and uh, weightlifting before this, and I combine a little bit. But when I heard there is a club, so I joined them here. So c can you explain to us what is CrossFit? Uh, CrossFit is a mix, uh, like mix of all uh, sports, you know, uh, weightlifting, gymnastic, uh, running, rowing, uh, whatever you name it. When you put in one, uh, one good combo, that's CrossFit. Yeah. So that looks like the ideal uh, athlete. I, ideal athlete, yes, exactly. So you define yourself like the ideal athlete? Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a good in some, some... Uh, you you can say it, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> if you are ideal, you can say yeah. it. Yeah. I'm not ideal. <laughs> so let me ask you this, what, what made you start CrossFit? And why CrossFit and not, I don't know, another, another sport? Because it has been almost 10 years that you are dedicating yes, your time uh, to it. Uh, I always did a sport that it's... Uh, I train uh, gymnastic. Okay. And it's a uh, little bit boring uh, to train. You know, it's always the same thing, same thing, same thing. And uh, when I hear about uh, CrossFit, uh, I want to be a little bit uh, dynamic, you know. So that's why I join uh, CrossFit. Yeah, it's it's very variated. You have many, yes, many exactly. disciplines. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's yeah. good. Yeah, because if you are repeating the same thing every day, that's probably yes, not. Yes, a... that's the gymnastic. That's the weightlifting. But when yeah. you combine it. Together, it's uh, something completely different. That's great. And gymnastic and weightlifting is it's uh, extremely <laughs> boring, boring to, tra yeah. to train. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So before 2012, there was no CrossFit in Croatia, like because no. you said. Okay. No, this was the first one. Uh, the owner, the or original owner, yeah. they came uh, from uh, America. They opened the box uh, here and after four years they moved uh, to America okay. and uh, me and my wife took, uh, took the gym over. Yeah. Okay, yeah. nice. In 2012, 2000, uh, when did you open the gym? 2016. 2016, yes. okay. And uh, how many uh, people are working out today at your gym? Uh, uh, it depends because during the winter it's like 150 people 
but during the summer it's around 100 uh, people. So what, what happened to people's motivation in summer? <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're at the beach. It's the beach, yeah. 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 But uh, we have uh, lots of foreigners uh, like you. Yeah. They, they come here during the summer, during so summer. we compensate. That's true. Yeah. So you have tourists coming here to work yes, out Yes, every single day. We have like maybe uh, two, three each day. So, okay, that's yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. So where are they from mainly? Which countries? Uh, they are usually from uh, Germany, Scandinavia and okay. some this part uh, right. around uh, Croatia. Okay, yeah. so I'm unique, I'm from France. So yeah, I'm unique, huh? <laughs> but we have lots of uh, French people uh, here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, French people probably prefer to drink wine in, yeah. <laughs> in split rather than yeah, drink sausage. <laughs> So can you explain to us um, uh, what's the, I would say, what's the minimum age and the maximum age for to do CrossFit? Uh, I mean, uh, minimum age, uh, you cannot do uh, CrossFit like CrossFit. Everybody who start at like uh, four or five years, basically they are doing gymnastic. Okay. But just a little bit combining with CrossFit. So basically every uh, child, children that uh, start with any sports, they are doing most of the training is gymnastic. All right. So if you go to judo or I don't know, tennis, football, you need to be more coordinated, you know, then you, you don't go play uh, judo immediately. You need to work a little bit on your gymnastics, yes. then you will go to train what you train. Yeah. The same thing is uh, with uh, CrossFit. First is basic, basic elements in gymnastic. Then we can talk to about CrossFit with uh, children. I understand. Yeah, yeah. I understand. And uh, also the uh, maximum age, we have uh, one guy, uh, he was uh, like uh, 69, 70 years old, but he was a former uh, uh, rower. Yes. So he was, uh, he has mm -hmm. a good uh, foundation. He understands uh, sport and everything, so he, he can be in a group normally. Uh, the coach doesn't have to be all the time with him yes. because we told people you need to uh, take good care of them as, yes. a, as a coach, you know. Yeah. So. so are there any risks related to CrossFit, whether it's like physical injury or mental or...? Uh, of course, it's a sport like any other sport. Uh, uh, there is no sport that it, there is no injury. Uh, our, uh, our goal as a coach is that we minimize uh, minimize them. Yes. Uh, the worst part is uh, when people uh, do something on their own. You okay. know, when we are not uh, watching, you know, if you say you go, I don't know, 50 kilo on back squat and you put uh, 70, yes. uh, that's, that's the problem, yeah. So and as long, as and long. you see, uh, when we do the class, uh, uh, coach always tells uh, people how many uh, weight yes. Uh, yes. each member uh, will put uh, in a wood. So. so, what makes CrossFit different from a regular gym? Like a uh, gym where I can go and do bodybuilding or? Uh, the, main, the main part is uh, when you are doing uh, a regular gym, uh, you are not paying attention to the time, you know? The time, what you, you, what you are working, what you are doing, in a time there is no uh, when you go to the gym you just do i don't know bicep curls yes. and then it goes uh, five minutes and then you do another set yes so here everything is uh, on a on a timer everything is uh, minimized so you are doing uh, lots of volume in a minimum uh, minimum yes. time. that's what they call high intensity yes interval training. exactly okay. yeah also in uh, crossfit uh, you have a coach who is always uh, looking at you uh, who is uh, warming up uh, you, preparing you for the uh, wood, for the strength of the day. That's true, yeah. yeah. So also when you do something wrong, uh, somebody will tell you don't do it like this, do this. Uh, yes. And that's the main difference between That's true, that's a big difference with, yeah. uh, with the regular gym. I also noticed there is like a strong community uh, a spirit here, like when someone is struggling to finish the wood, like other people would encourage him. Yes. I saw last time Tino with a guy telling him like, no, no, come back, finish your, finish your burpees. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, because uh, here we have like, uh, let's say we have a uh, hundred uh, members. Yes. Uh, but uh, 70 members are training three and more years. 
Okay. So basically we are like uh, family, we know each other, uh, like, you know, uh, we are all friends here. And uh, the good thing is uh, everybody comes at uh, their own group. You know, there is no mixing uh, group. So uh, when you come at this six o'clock, yeah. yeah, when you come at six o'clock, you train with you also they the same. They create their little uh, yes, group. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So you train always with, with the same people, and yes. they train always uh, together. And but the coaches are not always assigned to the same time. No, no. Well, we that's always, really good. Yeah. We always change uh, because uh, uh, lots of uh, people get used to me. Yeah. Not with Tina and Lana, and uh, we always uh, change uh, that little bit, okay. so they can also experience uh, the other coaches. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, every coach, I give, the, we have some um, uh, like um, tips for the warm up, yes. but everybody else does uh, their own uh, yes. warm up. Yeah. So we also want that we change that uh, little bit. Okay. You think there are more people that get used to you than Tina and Lana? Ah yes, because I was, <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was, I work uh, more. Uh, okay. Like I work three, four hours. They work. Uh, Don't more. be shy about your performance. You can't tell. Me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can't tell. Me. <laughs> but, I will not show this yeah. to you. Know, <laughs> no. So, as uh -huh. a CrossFit owner, like, what are the challenges? of managing a crossfit box with more than 100 people with the, the safety aspects uh, organizing the words and everything uh, uh, for us for now it's uh, corona time okay. so that's the main main problem right now but uh, usually like i said uh, before we have uh, this very strong core of people so when uh, some new member uh, came and it's uh, not compatible with these members before it's uh, for me as a manager i sometimes i have to say please uh, this is not a box for you you know you need to go away find another place oh really uh, to, wow. yeah because uh, i don't want to i don't want to disrupt the, the this uh, the team this, that is already yes, created yes okay yes. wow for for me because i I don't care if I have uh, 200 or 300 people. I want to have like a stable, stable uh, gym. And also during the Corona, uh, when uh, they open us again, uh, all of this score uh, return. Yes. So first day I have uh, 80 people, oh. you know, and nobody, nobody <laughs> else uh, uh, has that. They were so, starving CrossFit. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so this is my this is my goal that we have like a strong core who is always here, uh, happy like we call it happy place, All you right. know, because yeah. everybody escape from uh, regular jobs, uh, homes, That's this true, one yeah. hour, true. so they can uh, uh, switch off their mind uh, yeah. and enjoy the, for 90 minutes. That's yeah. true, and also the environment where your gym is, like you have the mountains behind, I guess the, the sea is here? Yeah, sea is yeah. uh, here, but yeah. it's like... It's uh, the port, right? Yeah, port, yeah. yeah but yeah. at least, you know, like yeah, there's water, there's yes, mountains, yes. yeah, that's... Uh, and that's all, nice. all our boxes at uh, sun, in that, it's not in the basement. That's just uh, true, that's just true. So it's very, very nice, yeah. yeah. This is true. So speaking of coronavirus, so how how were your uh, your gym and activity impacted by the the situation? And how how long did you close here in Croatia when the COVID uh, started? We closed it uh, for uh, three months. Okay. But they like opening us, closing us all all. So three time, three weeks close, uh, then two weeks open. And also lots of people get uh, stimulus uh, from the government. Yes. And we didn't get that uh, much. So it okay. was very, 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 very hard uh, for us. Okay. But, but when we are open, our core returns. So it was very. So did, did the government put something in place, like stimulus checks for the businesses in Croatia? Uh, yes, but uh, they closed us first time for three months, and they didn't give us anything. Oh, I see. Yeah. So and then, then when they close a the second time, they give us. Okay. So like we was like three months uh, without uh, without no. anything. Okay. Yeah. So did it, you move something online, like online courses or something like this? Uh, I didn't want to do that. Okay. Because uh, uh, people didn't, doesn't have equipment, uh, I and I don't want to take money uh, from people because I don't know. I will give them fifty squats, twenty jumping jacks, you know, yeah. like stupid uh, votes uh, and take money for this. Yeah. I see. So. Basically, you mean things that they can find on their own. Exactly. On their yeah, and also we, every member that wants something, 
from our gym, so we give uh, everything away. So like bars, uh, kettlebells, uh, okay. wall balls, dumbbells. Dur during the COVID? During the wow, COVID, that's nice. we give them everything. So nice, <laughs> basically yeah. it was nothing. <laughs> yeah, because I was, I was living in the US when the COVID started and many gyms have switched everything like to online, you know, yeah. and they kept asking people to pay, you know, which is to me at the time I understood, okay, you know, like they're struggling yeah, with the... Yeah, I understand with, that with uh, so. completely, yeah. but uh, I didn't want to... But they didn't give us barbells. Yeah, <laughs> we give uh, everything, yeah. That's Lots nice. of people like uh, uh, rent uh, equipment. From you? Uh, no, no, not from me, from, from other gyms. From other gyms, okay. uh, Here, I but uh, I didn't want to also uh, to rent. Uh, okay. We just give... Uh, everything uh, away so okay. because the corona is to me to them uh, they also doesn't have uh, uh, regular jobs uh, everything was closed okay so we like uh, give them and as soon nice. as we open uh, they also all the return so it's like a croatian family yeah exactly that's nice yeah. you don't have this in a country of uh, 300 million people <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You give him your barbell, you'll find it on Amazon the day yeah. after. <laughs> it's a shit, that's my yeah. So back to the CrossFit. I heard that the CrossFit is a sport that requires a lot of discipline. So what, what does discipline mean for you? Uh, discipline is uh, consistency. Okay. So you need to train uh, every, single, uh, every single day. Uh, and uh, there is no days off. I mean, it is, but it's always some uh, like active uh, recovery and it's like a whole, whole year uh, like this and that's the main main problem so yeah. it's consistency there. yes yeah. yes so speaking of discipline and consistency like are you are you allowed to party as a crossfit coach uh, i don't party that much uh, right now because i have a small child i will not show this to your wife you can talk <laughs> please tina is, tina is not here she doesn't listen to us you can talk uh, i mean we party but it's there not we go. Uh, but it's not that uh, big like you see uh, in in five seconds you change from i don't party to yeah i party <laughs> no no it's not like that but we party like i don't know once in a three months and that's it okay. yeah. so do, do you stay like late or like how is your sleeping uh, routine or you uh, my routine I sleep like uh, from uh, 11 okay yeah I'm already in uh, bed okay and uh, when I party let's say it's till midnight that's like <laughs> because okay. I cannot uh, stay that long uh, and when do you wake up usually uh, around seven. Oh, that's yeah. nice that's nice that's nice. So how is how is the day look like in your in your life? Like from 7 a.m.? Uh, 7 a.m. we have class at uh, 8.30 or right. maybe we have uh, some private classes at 8. So with me and Tina we always uh, change. So one is uh, with our uh, uh, boy uh, Tony and one is uh, at the gym. So it's always uh, okay. like, this, like this. And uh, when we finish it's a around uh, 11. Usually we take uh, our boy to grandparents yes. and then we train for two hours or we just uh, play with him, uh, take a lunch and then a little bit sleep and then from 4 till 10 it's CrossFit here. Alright, so yeah. pretty much your day, your day evolved around, the, around CrossFit. So this is your main occupation, yes, right? Yes, main occupation. Because, yeah. okay, I want to ask you if you have like another job or if this no, is No, no, this is mine. This is your life? Yeah, this is my life, yeah. And how long do you see yourself continuing CrossFit? Like, uh, I hope I will retire. You will retire from CrossFit? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Because I have a regular job. Okay. But I didn't want to do this uh, because uh, I'm not good at a regular job, I'm not good uh, here as a coach, I cannot be on two places, so I cut a regular job and now I'm 20 So you wanted to focus mainly yes, on, uh, yes, on the CrossFit. CrossFit? So you had a regular job in the past? Yes. So yes. what were you doing? I was a base manager at uh, with uh, sailing boats. Okay, so nice. So uh, my job was uh, to organize uh, everything uh, for the guests uh, right. when they're renting a sailing boat or I catamaran see. or motorboats. I, yeah. see, I see, I see. You know, that I, I spent the past uh, 10 years building ships. 
Really? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like the the electric propulsion part of it. Uh huh. So like the for the cruise ships, ferries, ah. or uh, sometimes military ships. Ah, nice. I, I never worked in this shipyard. I, I guess you have a shipyard in yes, Croatia. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. So do you know what they do? Like, do they build ships or more like? They're building a ship here. Okay. Here, but electrician, everything is made in other other marina. When you when you're in a port in yes. Riva, yes. you see it from uh, okay. here. Okay. But yeah. it's done in split. Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. That's nice. Yeah. I never dealt with the, the shipyards of Croatia. It's more uh, Italy in. Uh, uh -huh. Castella Mare di Stabio, which is the Amalfi Coast. Uh -huh. So they have a company called Fincanteri, uh -huh. which is actually the biggest uh, shipyard uh, builder in the world. So, uh, so yeah, it was more Italy, the Netherlands, France, the US. You are married, you said? Yeah. You, you have a son, right? Yes, uh, ah. he will be two in uh, three months. That's nice. Yeah. I see you sometimes bringing you here. To yeah, the... he's very also active. Uh, yeah. yeah. So do you want him to, <laughs> to get the, the crossfit of addiction? Of course, yeah, but uh, he will first start with uh, gymnasts like okay. uh, his mom and then we will see uh, what will happen. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. That's nice. How is the crossfit scene in uh, Croatia? Uh, it's getting uh, bigger and bigger yeah. and also lots of people heard and know now about uh, CrossFit. Uh, now in Split you have three CrossFit uh, gyms, uh, o uh, official, you know. They're but, affiliate? Yeah, affiliate, yeah. Okay. But there is also lots of uh, unaffiliated uh, boxes okay. here in Split and also around, around Croatia. I yeah. see. Do you think that people in Croatia know what CrossFit is? Yes, right now, yes. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, before was, what is this? Ah, oh, crazy people running in a parking lot. Yeah, that's you. Right. <laughs> you know, that was an uh, uh, assumption when, they, uh, when you tell them to do, when you're doing cr yes. CrossFit. But right now they are more familiar what we are actually doing, yeah. That's true. I also know that there are other myths around CrossFit, like, you know, it's a sport only for men, for example. Uh, yes, uh, because uh, every woman when they came, they want to be, they don't want to be bulky, yes. you know, but uh, that's not completely true. As uh, you see my wife, Tina, she's not bulky, <laughs> she's not bulky and she's like uh, top 200 in uh, Europe. You know, she is very... Does she compete in Europe? Uh, yes, but not anymore because okay. of the boy. But she now returns slowly. I see, <laughs> yeah. I see. So there is also lots of meat uh, of CrossFit, but... You know, I always tell them, come here, do uh, uh, one training and then you will see. Yes, uh, you will see by yourself. Yeah. Yeah. What's the percentage of girls uh -huh. working out at your gym? Uh, it's around 65% uh, of men, uh, 35. That's good. Uh, yeah, yeah. Good. They are taking over slowly. Yeah. <laughs> you have two coaches that are women, Lana yes, and Tina. Yes, Lana and Tina and me and they yeah. are... Uh, uh, guys, uh, it's yeah. uh, good to have uh, yeah, course, a little yes. bit uh, because it's uh, not always good to have a man, uh, man uh, coach because uh, uh, lots of guys want to see like... Yeah, being uh, a man I would say, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also soft, have... soft hand. <laughs> yes, when you are squatting you, you want to see yeah, a woman doing it. Not, course. <laughs> <laughs> not a man with yeah. lots of hairs on his legs. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah, drink your, uh, was it like coffee or? No, no, it's a protein shake. Okay. Do you make protein shake here? Mm -hmm. Wow. So just, uh, what's yeah. the time? The time well, now? I'm already late for my class. Aha, uh -huh, okay. I will train at 8. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Train, just eight. that I know. Are, are you working out? Yes, are you the I'm coach? Uh, oh, okay. Are yes, you the I'm coach at 6? Yeah. Okay, Lana will do the work. Okay, last, la, Lana will do, okay, yeah. la, last, last question. What do you have to say? to the people who are reluctant about the CrossFit? Okay, uh, please, uh, uh, if you are reluctant to CrossFit, just come to one training and you will see it's not this uh, horrible, it's not uh, too heavy because everything can be adjusted uh, for you, for your kind of level of fitness and uh, just try it and you will, you will love it. What do you have to tell to the tourists coming to Croatia? Uh, we are always uh, open and you are very welcome to come here and uh, visit our box. Based on my outstanding performances here <laughs> at your CrossFit, <laughs> where are you? <laughs> Do you think I can defeat Matt Fraser? 
Uh, yes, you can defeat Matt Fraser if Matt Fraser doesn't show up. <laughs> 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 then you will be the champion. <laughs> All right, so I hope you will not show up. <laughs> thank you, coach, for your time. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. It was you. great talking to you. Of course, thank you. Is this yours? <laughs> All right. <laughs> How many kilos do you have here? 130, okay. Alright, see you later.